band with Johnny Galvatron. That is your real name or stage name or whatever. It's, you it's, know what it's, it's, uh, no, it's not my real name. <laughs> uh, but uh, we just, well, I just played uh, The Awful Escape of Francis Vendetti. It's, uh, when I came up with the game, it's kind of like, imagine if David Bowie had had to go on a journey to create Ziggy Stardust. Right. So Francis Vendetti kind of lives in the shadow of his famous uncle, which is like, he's like a Bob Dylan kind of character. He's, everyone has his future kind of laid out for him, um, but he just really digs sci-fi. So, um, it's about, uh, throughout the game, like, you saw a lot of the musical mechanics, but there's also a vast character creation within the game. Which character is you, creation? Yeah, which is where you can create Francis's new persona. Okay. Uh, that he uses to escape. Oh, his, awesome. Yeah, he uses to escape the shadow of his uncle. So, uh, there's levels just based on backstory. There's levels um, based on image, um, where you can fully customize his outfit, change his hair, his stage makeup. Uh, there's levels like about height, where you do like uh, publicity stunts and, 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 and change your image and the perception of, of the people who watch you. So, oh wow! Um, yeah, it's about it's about the That's peripheries of, of, of your core media. Awesome. Um, how long has this game been in development? Uh, is this coming from a personal, obviously, for any game creator, it always comes from a personal space, but uh, how does this relate to kind of your your own story, your own path? Um, well, I was a, in a band that had a record deal when we toured the world for a few years, um, and I, I hated it. Um, uh, we got to do great things, got to like live the dream for a little while, but I was really bad at, at touring. Um, and I came home and I never wanted to leave the house again. Uh, and game development is perfect for, for that. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I just took my love of music and of, of the peripheries of, of, um, of core mediums. Like I really love the, the world David Bowie created around his music, or the yeah. world that Daft Punk built around his yes, music. Yeah, of course. There's robots searching for humanity. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of my love of, of the creative elements yeah, around the core story. With music. Exactly. Uh, and how, how long has it been? How long have you been working on it? Uh, I've been toying with it for about a year and a half, but the demo you played from the ground up is about three and a half months. Okay, awesome. Wow, that's uh, that's uh, very impressive. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> so is it just, is it, uh, so it's, uh, you say it's a small team, uh, what kind of, are you just lead creative or are you actually like building the game yourself or something? I do everything uh, you can see in here. Oh, okay. Uh, and I work with another musician, Josh Abrahams, uh, who's an incredible musician. He did like, uh, does a lot of amazing work. He did Moulin Rouge. He did, um, wow. He, did, he does like the Sydney fireworks display for New Year's Eve. He does the music for it. Oh, which really? I think is like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and two programmers, uh, Sean and Justin. Wow, awesome. Um, yeah, this game, this game is really cool. I mean, the music, obviously. I mean, kind of, you know, it doesn't make the game necessarily, but it's a huge proponent of that, and it's the way that your guitar comes in with the background music. Now, I noticed, you know, with the jump, the time, the jumps, the timing, the jumps, you want to get that down. Um, is there uh, going to be some kind of uh, system, point system, where it's like the the better you kind of the more better rhythm you have, I guess, is that going to play into it? Uh, because right now, what, what we play was awesome. It's very kind of simple, like Simon says. Yeah. Um, it is, are you going to be evolving in that, in that gameplay further? Maybe that comes later in the game. Or... There's, uh, there's different um, platforming mechanics where you can use your guitar. There's like pyrotechnic platforms that you can shoot off on. Um, but I wanted the guitar playing to be quite, to be as loose and creative as I could. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, like, so if, if a, a, a chord, uh, a creature gives you like a three chord structure to play, I want you to be able to feel them. It's yeah. like if he plays it quickly, I want you to be able to play it back slowly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, absolutely. To, I didn't really, this, I didn't want any actual rhythm. Based. I understand. Yeah, I wanted, yeah so it, it's a looser mechanic than a rhythm. I mean, I, I really, I really enjoyed that about the game. I, I really thought that it was kind of like I was creating my own guitar solos, and in a lot of ways, um, with someone playing through, it isn't going to sound the same as the way exactly. I played through. Well, it's a, it's something like that I call the the Arkham mechanic, which is like in the Arkham games, the the fighting mechanic is very simple. That's good because you're Batman, right. and it makes you feel <laughs> badass. So I wanted to do like. My ver a musical version of it. Yeah. So it is a simple mechanic, but it, it feels powerful. 
Awesome, awesome. Um, now, what is the uh, end run of the game in terms of time? Like, is this going to be a couple of hours experience? We're, we're aiming for about five. Five hours, I would totally. I'd probably sit down from beginning to end of those five hours. And uh, I know it's a long way out from development. Do you have a, an estimate of when people can get their hands on this? Or? When it's ready, when I it's guess. ready. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, what are for the other other shows you guys do this year that people can experience? Because like, I think people need to come find you first at any any of these things. None. Okay. None. We're, we're, we'll be going dark after this for quite oh. a while. This is a tease. I'm sorry. Well, no, that's that's totally cool. I mean, I'm just really glad I got to play it. A lot of great, like literally, like I didn't, I didn't, had no idea about this until my friends were telling me you need to play this game. So I think that's a smart thing to do to go dark and just let the buzz do its thing and then make a, a splash. But uh, well, Johnny, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, for more on the art for the Escape of Francis Vendetta, we have a playthrough on the site. You can check it on GameZone.com.